Hey, hey, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and today I want to talk a little bit about recovery and I want to give you guys a tip how I uh, operate when I'm on low sleep and what I do and how I incorporate power naps into my schedule so I can get the most uh, recovery so my workouts don't suffer on the days when I have bad sleep. So what happens when you're sleep deprived? So when you're sleep deprived, you're in a very, very special state. There's uh, two very important hormones that are acting when you're sleep deprived. One is called ghrelin, the other one is called leptin. So the, when you're sleep deprived, your ghrelin goes very up. And then what happens when ghrelin is up, you start craving more food, your, plus your metabolism is slower. But when it comes to leptin, leptin is lower, which means that uh, what leptin does is telling your body to stop eating. And when it's low, it's like, telling your body to eat more food. So you're basically dropping, uh, you have more cravings and you're dropping more food on a very uh, slow metabolism, which is slowed down because of the lack of sleep. People who are lacking sleep uh, have also a very hard time maintaining uh, fat-free mass, which is your lean body mass, which is your, basically your muscle. So a combination of uh, very uh, bad sleep uh, increased the cortisol from increased uh, stress from your life plus a low calorie diet is the perfect condition to make you lose your hard gain muscle so you want to fix this condition as fast as possible you want to you want to uh, amp up your recovery and what I personally use are power naps power naps are the best thing to boost your recovery when you just can't get that sleep in the night when you're busy when you have a hard work schedule, uh, for example, when I worked uh, two jobs, I had to incorporate a lot of power naps to keep me uh, recovered enough to do my workouts. So how I do power naps? Basically, uh, about an hour and a half before a workout, I will uh, do a power nap. I will set my alarm on the phone to 27 and a half minutes, which is what I read about a study that shows that people fall asleep around seven minutes. So I would set my alarm to 27 and a half minutes because 20 minutes is enough to engage in a power nap to feel more recovered. So I would do this before the workout, like one to one and a half hour before the workout. And what, what tends to happen, I would feel a lot more uh, recovered. I would not feel the fatigue. I would uh, have increased strength, blood flow. I would feel like more, more connected to do exercise when I'm doing it. I would feel the mind-muscle connection be, being stronger when I'm uh, recovered using the naps. One other thing you can do when you're engaging in power naps is if you do not uh, intake a lot of caffeine during the day, you can use the power of caffeine to boost your recovery in the power nap. So what you do is before, uh, just before you fall asleep, just before you lie down, you want to uh, drink a green tea or like a very strong coffee without sugar or take uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine and it will uh, boost your recovery even more and you will feel even more fresh before the actual workout. So this, these are the, some of the things I've used and I've noticed like massive difference in the results I'm getting on the days that I was feeling very, very tired. I didn't feel like going to the gym. And if it weren't for these power naps, I would uh, not be able to complete my workouts the way I did. And I believe that uh, not everybody can structure their life in a way that will allow you to have at least seven and a half hours of sleep every night. So we need to rely on things like power naps and like uh, having uh, more sleep on the days where we have time so we can uh, get that sleep depth off so we can get like nine to ten hours of sleep on the days when we don't have much to do so we can uh, feel more uh, recovered on the other days so this is what i have for you guys today i hope you uh, utilize the power of the power naps in your workouts and you get the maximum benefits of it so thanks for watching the video uh, comment below if you have any suggestions or or feedback on this topic or if you have your own practice uh, that you use to boost recovery feel free to share with the rest of the community